Happy Wednesday everyone! Hi, it's Marion again for the Diary of a Gender Fluid channel. And this week's topic, excuse me, is gendered language and pronouns and names and things like that. Um, I'm gonna go in with the pronouns first because my native language is Dutch and we don't really we don't have a gender neutral pronoun. We don't. Which is very annoying, which is why I prefer English because it has the lovely they and them which you can use to refer to anyone regardless of their gender. Whereas in Dutch you only have he, she and it, I guess. But you can only really use it for objects. I mean the Dutch version of it, obviously. You can literally only use it for objects. You can't use it for a person or for anything living. So that kind of sucks. It does. And you, you would have to start making up weird terms in order to accommodate for that. So I'm going to go on to gendered language now. And I'm going to be that person who starts going on about words like bitch and jerk and motherfucker. <laughs> Starting off with bitch. Bitch is a word that people use among friends as well as trying to make an insult to someone. <coughs> Me, I try to avoid it at all times because why on earth would you call someone a female dog as if it's a bad thing right like what's so bad about a female dog that thing makes puppies puppies are awesome what the hell is bad about a bitch really why what i don't get it then of course this was like jerk, which I'm not even going to get into to keep this family friendly. Um, damn it. Um, right, word like pussy and sissy to refer to a male who is less masculine. Yeah, giant bunny rabbit ears here. Because how on earth do you define more or less masculine? Like, where where do you... What is it? Is, is it a scale? Is it a rule? What is it? And how do you measure... How do you measure masculinity? How do you measure femininity? I don't even get where... Where terms like that even come from. I mean, I do get where they come from, but I don't know why people started doing that. Because... Let's face it, people who have a uterus and choose to utilize said uterus to bear tiny little mini humans, hopefully, how is that seen as weak? I mean, to see someone as a pussy, I mean, to call someone a pussy, basically, it's like calling them a vagina. Why? Why would you do that? I mean, you're ob you're obviously not referring to the animal, to a cat, pussy cat. You're obviously not doing that. Why? Why would you call someone a vagina? Really? Like, I don't get how or, or the word dick. You know, to get it to get into the male equivalent here. Ooh. Um. Like, why would you call someone a body part? Like, you wouldn't call someone an arm, would you? Or would you call someone a leg? Or a finger? Or a belly button? Would you call someone a belly button? I think we should start doing that actually, that's kind of cute. Call, call, your, call your friend a belly button, that's cute. But, I mean, you wouldn't call someone a kneecap. So why would you call them a pussy? Or a dick? Or, apparently, tit is a thing you call someone. Why? Like, most people regardless of gender and sexual orientation, don't particularly hate boobs, breasts. There are trans boys who might. Apologies to you. You're lovely. Sorry about that. But 
I mean, in general, people don't actively hate on a particular body part. So I don't really get why we would use that as an insult to a person. Yeah. As for names, leaving that little can of worms behind. <laughs> as for names, I just go by my own name. The name I was given by my parents because I don't particularly hate it. Although lately I've come, I've become a bit attached to the name Alex because it's gender neutral to me. It feels, I mean, I know men called Alex and I know women called Alex. And I know that some of, some of our gender fluid or agender friends go by the name Alex because it just fits every mold. If it's the male mold, female mold, and everything beyond and in between, it's great. So that's it for me this week. My little friends here are Toto the Unicorn, whom I've had for five years now, I think. He's still my sleeping buddy. And Zoe the Alpaca, who is currently cramped with her nose against my wall. Sorry, Zoe. Right, I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.